Hey, what's up YouTube? It's me again, Scale Model Assassin. For this month's build, I've got the Airbus A321 CEO, which is the current engine option, as opposed to the Neo, which is the new engine option. The nomenclature is a bit ironic and a little confusing since at the time of this recording, both of those engines are in service. As usual, I use Tamiya Putty on the seam line and also, as usual, I ended up having to re-putty a few times. There's always seems to be a couple areas where the line doesn't quite get hidden. Don't forget to wipe away the dust with the damp cloth. To try to hide the seam line in the engines, I basically just melted the plastic with the Tamiya Extra Thin Cement. This was the first of several applications of primer to check my work and see if the seam line got hidden. You could use a scribing tool, but here I wanted to use a razor saw. I just have better control and luck with it to rescribe the panel lines that got removed with the sandpaper. You've got to drill your own hole to attach the Wi-Fi antenna or satellite pod on top. So I used some tape to, to measure out the center line on the fuselage and then hold the piece in place when I figured out exactly where to put my hole. For painting the tires, I used a very thin mix of paint, a lot of thinner. That way the paint would kind of disperse and get along inside next, right up next to the wheel well without me kind of painting over it. I built it up over three or four different layers, letting it dry in between because it was so thin. And this is the first of three or four different coats of white, slowly building it up, letting it dry in between each coat. I tried pre-shading the plane, but it pretty much got covered up by the time I reached my final coat. Sometimes like on the wing here, after using a flat paint, the surface is a little bit rough. So here I'll just use a little cloth to, to smooth it. I sprayed this aluminum directly onto the gray paint because I wasn't concerned about it being super shiny. If I'd wanted a mirror-like, really chrome finish, I'd have put down a gloss black beforehand, but this AK paint went down fine on top of the Tamiya Gray. The kit does come with the decals for the blue stripes down the side, however I ended up masking and painting it. When it came to mixing the colors to get the different tones of blue, just did a lot of guess and check off to the side to figure out what kind of ratios I need, use some eyedroppers to measure it out. Turns out that Mr. Hobby does make a four pack of paint that is specific to an ANA aircraft. It has a two different tones of blue. And of course I didn't know about that until after I'd already built it, but it felt really good mixing the colors and, and getting them pretty close. I'll actually do a little test painting on the, the decal sheet right next to the actual stripes to compare the different shades as I'm uh, mixing and experimenting. Even though I masked the whole plane off, I still had a little bit of overspray that somehow got underneath the tape. You can kind of see back near that Wi-Fi antenna pod. And so I had to come back, did a little light sanding, and then sprayed it with uh, another coat of white to clear it on up. The masking effort on this plane took quite a bit longer than what's actually depicted in the video. It was a lot of just laying down the tape, eyeballing it, and then peeling it up and redoing it. Like I did earlier with the wing, the light gray on the belly, because it's a flat color, it's not as smooth or glossy as the white or the blue on the fuselage. So did a little light sanding with some of the micro mesh cloth. 
Then I followed it up with a coat of all clad aqua gloss uh, 600 before I did some decaling. I used my standard method of microsaw, microset on these decals, rolled them on, pressed all the water out with the Q-tip, and for the windows, uh, they came as one long decal. I cut them into three, a little bit more manageable sections. Figured it'd be easier. One thing I thought was weird was they omitted the inspiration of Japan words that go on the side of the plane, which was odd because it's on the front picture on the box. Maybe it's a trademark or copyright issue, I don't know. So I did some homemade decals there. I printed a bunch of extras in case I messed up. I've got another video out with how I make those decals, so check that out. I'll put a link in the description.